Hey everyone, it's Mary Ann with Akashic Inspirations, and this is going to be our reading for this week. Um, actually, starting today, we'll take it into uh, next week, for, so it's from the 6th of October through the 12th of October, and um, I had some really, really beautiful messages today. Um, for this week, we're focusing on Vesta. This is the card that came out from the... Um, Goddess uh, Guidance to uh, Oracle by Doreen Virtue, and it says your household situation is improving. Um, and I pulled another card. I actually pulled it for a reading that I did for someone, but this has been a big message for today that I've been getting um, many messages about Mother Mary and it's expect a miracle. Have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. So I wanted to share with you something that I wrote uh, in my blog today, and it was because I was been contemplating Vesta this week as to, um, you know, what influences we're going to have and we're going to be able to see. So in today's blog, which came um, through from the angels of the Elohim and from Mother Mary, um, it says there is a beautiful conjunction of elements being brought forth this week: angels, Mother Mary, Vesta, focusing on home and your relationships. Um, within your home structures. Now this can mean specifically those that live with you and also can include those people who have great meaning in your life, friends or relatives who live in other areas or even in the same city but not in your home. You must learn that physical locality doesn't necessarily limit you. You will only be limited by your amount of feeling. So in order to expand your boundaries, it is vital to expand the love in your heart. And um, so for the rest of it, you could go ahead and go to my website, Akashic Inspirations, and, and read the rest of the blog uh, for today and how it ties in with um, our coming into, it's kind of like we're um, in the coming of age, uh, like adolescence, the coming of age, as we go, as we are now in the fifth dimension. So I decided to pull cards from the Glastonbury Tarot, and this is kind of um, uh, some, a little something special for Tony Walker because she had mentioned something and uh, done a Facebook comment. Um, the, the author of the Glastonbury Tarot, her name is Lisa Tenzin Dolma, and um, she did this back like in the late 90s, and um, it's, it's out of print now. And um, so one of Tony's... Uh, viewers actually had asked her to use the tarot to do a reading and of course she doesn't have the deck so kind of to help Tony out and in honor of her I decided to pull cards from the Glastonbury tarot so let's look at the first card that we get and it is this called the six of staves or six of wands and it is called success so usually the six of wands is you know you see the knight coming in with his uh, wreath of laurels around his head um, I really like the uh, the imagery um, and the description of what things mean in these cards because nothing that are in these cards um, is without meaning. So here we have this this boy. He's got a staff over his head and he's you know got a huge grin on his face and he's um, you know so happy. He's got a red shirt on, so he's living in his joy, his life energy, his passion all of that beautiful yellow, bright yellow color, which is, um, you know, the success that he's uh, been able to attain through, you know, clear thinking and being positive. Now you'll see there's two wands on the right, and that represents um, the gateway card, like the two of wands. And the three on the other side represent the three of wands, which is um, like a sense of accomplishment and integrity. So all together, these six of wands really talks about a, a victory over obstacles and a, a real sense of, uh, of achievement. And, and uh, it's, it's a time for celebration, like, yay, you know, I did this. I got over this struggle. And I know many, many of us have been going through this for the last, uh, you know, few months. And um, I think we're going to be feeling these sighs of relief. This is what Mother Mary comes in to tell us about in expect miracles because these miracles are coming into our life so these things that you've been working out these uh, endeavors that have been coming into that you've been uh, really you know trying to make happen are going to be are going to definitely be coming into fruition and so we go to the second card 
which is the king of chalices, so the king of cups. And you'll see he has, uh, he's riding this beautiful like Palomino horse and he's got a cup in his hand and he's got also a smile on his face. So here are two people, they're like living in their joy, living in their passion, being happy, being emotionally fulfilled. And again, that bright, bright yellow color in the background. Um, the king of cups, he's wearing, um, um, he has like that uh, blue tunic which signifies devotion. Um, his face, he's like laughing or singing or being really happy. And it's like coming, um, you know, coming from within him. And um, this is, this card signifies, could be somebody in your life who uh, is like the ideal man for many of us. Uh, somebody who's passionate about life, who freely expresses himself, um, is able um, to be uh, touched by others on, on different levels, on physical, emotional, mental, spiritual. So um, for, for some of us who are women, this could definitely be the ideal man. And um, so for those who are the gentlemen who get to watch, it's, it's about uh, exhibiting these abilities yourself, exhibiting these desires uh, to be in a whole-hearted, committed, joyful, and content relationship. And uh, so as the king, um, he comes in, and it could be someone that's going to be coming in to give you guidance uh, and, and, and really bringing success to any undertakings or projects that are happening right now. So the third card that I pull is the Judgment card. And here is Archangel Michael. And he's got that flaming sword above his head. So this card, these beautiful deep blues. And again, the, the, uh, the yellow and the white and the silver um, are just, you know, about communications, about um, seeing things from the higher celestial perspective. And... Um, let's go over here for a sec. <clears throat> and it's um, it's about living. It's about being called to a more meaningful way of life. Um, and it calls the judgment card calls for us to uh, look at things uh, from a, a perspective of balance of emotions and intellect and. Um, really l having let go and being rebirthed, having let go of the old paradigm, being rebirthed into the new paradigm where we are stepping into this newness. And it's, it allows us the ability to discriminate and, um, and act, on, act on the insights, that, the inner wisdom that we've gained and that's so that we can move forward and leaving behind which no longer serves us. So all of that cutting away that we've been doing uh, lately uh, is really uh, coming now into uh, fruition for us. And the last card that I pull, I love, love, love this card, is the sun. And it's actually here is the, it's the Holy Grail. So here you've got all of this uh, yellow, again, intense. All these cards have that commonality, that yellow intense light. Uh, the white light of purity, and it actually has like a slight pink hue. And I've got my, my pink skull out here today, and beautiful pink roses um, on our altar and our table. And that is, you know, the, the ray of the rose flame and unconditional love. And the sun card for us in this, in this uh, aspect of home and family and relationships is that we are attaining our joy. We are being, uh, we are growing and we are in, in union and in unity. And it reminds, the sun reminds us that we need to recognize the beauty that's all around us and move into this time of happiness and success. And um, that the, this brings us success uh, in love, in our relationships, in our career opportunities. Our confidence is going to increase. We're going to get positive feedback. So it's a, a card of super high energy, um, a sense of global unity, and that our wishes are now and desires are now being coming into manifestation, and that the world is bright with promises. So um, I really um, wanted to go back to the Mother Mary card 
because um, I received the message through Linda Dillon of the Council of Love that Mother Mary has come in and that this week she is showering us with beautiful blessings. But as we step into our fifth dimensional self, it, we also need to step into our responsibility and we need to step up and participate with our ascended masters, with our angels, with our archangels, with the divine feminine, with the, the masculine uh, uh, Christ, uh, Michael, and um, the, you know, the masculine energy as well, and being in balance, and being, um, taking our place next to them, and uh, forwarding these blessings, these blessings that we're receiving, we're just not in a receiving mode anymore. Um, but we need to be in a participatory, participatory mode uh, of actually doing something. So the call is from Mother Mary for us to, at 9 o'clock each evening for this week, starting tonight until next week, um, to take a moment and to meditate or just to be in reflection of the great blessings that we have received. And if we are to celebrate this week in anticipation of all of the success that is coming into play for us, that we need to also be grateful and to share those blessings uh, with, with others and with the universe, share those energies that we uh, are coming into right now. So it looks like uh, an awesome week. Um, I hope to hear from, back from you guys and tell me how great it's for you, how wonderful new relationships are coming into play for you, how you have defined and uh, expanded in your heart energy so that you can use this expansion uh, to influence and send out those emotions and feelings throughout the globe and throughout the universe. I'm sending you many, many blessings today. Namaste.